This is how we make an easy boiled fruit cake. You'll need 350 grams of mixed dry fruit, 110 grams of butter, 110 grams of soft brown sugar, 120 mils of milk, one level teaspoon of mixed spice, one egg, just lightly beaten, and 220 grams of self-raising flour. And then all you do is to literally put your fruit where did we get that cut from oh that was from uh, darren's oh. grandma's <laughs> yeah it's so, quite a glasgow tram, glasgow tram. Yeah. <laughs> so what what's going on well here? put everything into your pan your fruit so the fruit's already in the pan yeah your 350 grams of mixed dry fruit 110 grams of butter 110 grams of soft brown sugar all go in the pan together and then you add your liquid and you can add water if you wish or you don't milk. Have to be milk it doesn't have to be milk if you're adding milk it sometimes thickens up quicker so you don't need to cook it for quite right, okay. the, the length of time so what's happening now you, you're melting everything together so very very low light melt it and then when it's melted simmer it gently for 10 minutes and what does it do the simmering the simmering well the fruit soaks up the liquid now here i'm lining your tin so okay. while it's simmering very important, line your tin and a 23 centimetre round tin with a loose bottom so it comes out dead easy. So this is everything cooling down now? Uh, no, yeah, because yeah. once it's simmered for the 10 minutes you need to let it cool for about half an hour. Because well, the egg will go up? Cause, well, the egg starts to cook otherwise. Yeah, okay. So then the next thing to do really is just give it a, a good stir and then uh, pour your egg in evenly over the top of the surface. Don't just pour it into one area okay. and then give it a good beating with your spatula as you would do into your, not quite as vigorously, but, but you know, and then sprinkle your flour in the same way. You've done half the flour here, haven't you? Yeah. yeah, sprinkle it over the top, just half of it, and beat that in as well. And, and this it, is self-raising flour? This is self-raising flour, yeah. And then you put your other half in and then spoon it into your tin. But at this point, if you want, you could add lemon zest. Okay, yeah, or yeah. Orange, orange zest, zest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or in, if you don't want to just use mixed spice, you could, like I just did, put half a teaspoon of mixed spice, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So you can make it really Christmassy. Yeah, you can make it. You can make this into your Christmas cake if you want to okay. double the quantity. I like our Christmas cakes. Oh well, our, that's that's a foolproof <laughs> Christmas cake. But you see, this is great. Oh, yeah, you spill oh, a lot there. Right. So I always get that last bit. But. Um, <laughs> At this point, you see, if you think about it, you've not used a mixing bowl, you've only used a pan. A pan, yeah. Presumably it gets harder here now. It's quite a stiff dough because what's happened is you've slightly cut your flour. Yeah, 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 because so it's slightly it, Yeah, warm. and you think, gosh, this is going to be a right dry cake, but Now, it's why not. do you do this next bit? Because you're pressing it down and then you're going to put a dimple right. in the middle, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, push it into your, your tin and, and once it's you've got all the mixture in the tin, press it down with the back of your spatula or your spoon or, you know, whichever you use. And then once you've flattened the top down, because it's got self-raising flour in, it's going to come up in the centre. More than the edges. More than the edges. So I always like to put a little dip in the centre, and then you get a nice flat top. Okay. Not too much of a dip, or else you'll have a dip in the middle. So it's literally just a small dent. And then you've pre I've preheated my oven yeah, we saw that, to 160. 160. And it's going to go in there, no change in the temperature, leave it for an hour. After an hour... Take it out of the oven and then use a skewer to prick into the centre into a couple of places and if it comes out clean, it's cooked.